I guess second part of our date for our weekend away. We went to Texas Roadhouse. This is gonna be a brutal one. <laughs> it's not brutal, brutal. We've been here before and I don't know. I liked it a lot better than this time. <laughs> Can you be nicer than me? Because <laughs> I'm not very nice. Well, honestly, the, the whole reason we wanted to come here is we wanted a Bloomin' Onion. We yeah. got a Bloomin' Onion. The Bloomin' Onion was good. The burgers were meh. They weren't the best burgers that I've ever had here. The literally the only way that I know to explain them was that they felt too soft. Like the meat, I don't know if it was just greasy, but when he makes burgers at home, they've got like a, like, I don't know. They've got a, a layer on them. They're slightly crispy, but they're still tender on the inside. These were soft. So start off with, it was super loud in there. Um, and I'm not going to hate the whole thing. I'm just going to explain the experience. It, it, this is like, I, I don't know if every Texas road, is every Texas road, have you ever been to any of the Texas roadhouse? Yeah, it's just, it's the atmosphere. Yeah, so I, like, but I didn't remember that. Um, it was kind of loud in there, which is why we didn't, I'm specifying it was loud in there to say, this is why we didn't talk on camera. Because we tried, nah, also the music. Um, Copyright strikes. Yeah, YouTube doesn't like when you record places with music. So that's why we didn't say anything in there. It was a little bit louder. It was a lot more crowded than I thought it would be for social distancing purposes. Like I did not expect it to be as packed as it was with social distancing going on. The bloom, we got drinks. They didn't have Coke Zero. A lot of places have switched to having Coke Zero because he doesn't normally order drinks with, the Coke Zeros have sugar in them at all. No. Okay, he normally doesn't order any drinks with sugar in them, which is what he's drinking right now. Did they even have Diet Coke? They had Diet Coke, but I don't like Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. They're just, yeah, it's not the same as Coke Zero. I'm not exactly sure what it is that's different. I just, they're, they're I actually, prefer Diet, or I prefer uh, Coke Zero. We didn't do it on film. We actually have done a taste testing before between the two. The Coke Zero does taste better. Um, I got a lemonade. I got a peach lemonade. Where I went to Texas Roadhouse, not Texas Roadhouse, Longhorn Steakhouse and ordered the strawberry lemonade, it wasn't too sweet. And I said it on camera that some places, their, their fruity lemonades are soup. This one was really, really sweet. And it could just be that I'm not used to drinking like a lot of high sugary drinks anymore, but it was really super sweet. That may be me. The burgers were okay. The flavor was there. It just, I don't know how to explain it. It just felt soft to me. Um, the fries were weird. I've never See, had fries with cheese on them before where the cheese stuck together but didn't actually stick to the... Have you? The, the fries were good. The fries themselves were good. I like their fries here. I really do. But the cheese did kind of stick to just the cheese. Yeah, it stuck to itself but not the fries. So like you literally went to pick a fry up and like everything would come off of it and you had just fry. The fries were good. Overall, probably a three out of five for the Texas Roadhouse. I mean, I'll go ahead and say it. It's the one in East Knoxville off the, I don't remember what number exit it is. It's off of I-640 in East Knoxville. If you're familiar with the Knoxville area, it's where the East Town Mall used to be. It honestly wasn't my absolute favorite, but... I also kind of feel like it's not 100% fair because Longhorn was just so good last night. And we had loaded fries, or he had loaded fries that I tried. Because <laughs> I ate some of his loaded fries. But I don't know, it, it wasn't, I, I guess it wasn't quite what I was expecting after eating at Longhorn. Which is, like I said, I really don't feel as fair. But I definitely probably would have swapped those and eaten this one first. So I'd give it a 3 out of 5. The only other thing too was like I had to ask twice for A1. And a couple of you have said in one of our other videos that yeah you put A1 on your burgers too. So when he dropped the first person who delivers the food asked do you need anything. I said can I have some A1 please. He walked off. Didn't come back. The server comes back and he's like do y'all need anything. I'm like and he goes can she have some A1 for her burger please. And then like five minutes later, somebody finally brought A1. And it was different. Like, um, 
Longhorn, they served them in cups and they don't give you the whole bottle. This one was actually doing bottles at the table still. So that was kind of weird how one restaurant did it one way and one did it the other. But yeah, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it, but if you're looking for a quieter atmosphere, <laughs> this is definitely not it. But if you like that kind of thing with like the loud country music and the atmosphere here, then it's perfect. I, ha I will say I like their ribs and steaks a whole lot better than their burgers. We've, we, I think every year used to for around th Valentine's Day, they do a special with ribs and steak. And we would split that, I think. Or somehow, uh, maybe we just ordered like a half thing of ribs and we both got a steak. I don't remember. Like they do some kind of meal thing with that. I really like those. So I may come back and try just their steak and see if I just don't like their burgers. I don't hate it. It wasn't a hate thing, but it wasn't my favorite place that I've eaten at. Okay, what's your thoughts? Because <laughs> I feel like I'm just like bashing here, but it, I'm not. I'm just, it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. Yeah, it... The burger was all right. I mean, fries are, are fries with cheese and, and bacon on it. So you can't really go wrong there. Um, I will say one pause. Sorry, I interrupted. Um, what? Sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead. One thing that I did absolutely like was at Longhorn, they do just butter. They have this really good butter here for their rolls, and that was very good. The rolls and the butter were very, very good. I really like that. And like I said, I didn't hate the fries. I just wish the cheese had stuck to it. What is your overall? Like, if you were to do a scale of one to five? I mean, it, it was good. It's just, it wasn't the best place where we ate. So. Yeah. Like I said, for like, if you're going, if you, and it may just be also like, we don't, I don't listen to country music. I don't think he listens to country music unless he's at work because they play it at his work. Like I don't know that. That's not usually an atmosphere like we don't we don't normally go to places that have like loud music. But that may just be an atmosphere thing. But I did not remember that until we got here. Food wise, it was okay. But it's not going to be like on the high of my list of places to go in Knoxville again. But again, this is not like a total. I don't want it to be like a total bash. I just. I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. But it, like he said again, the reason we came was for the Bloomin' Onion and we succeeded with that. That was good. It was a little salty for me, but I don't do like salty food. But he he does like salty food and he really loved it. So overall, eh, 